Welcome to today's video. Today's gonna to be more of a tutorial. I wanna teach you how to use Simple Practices AI Note Taker. Now, I wanna be really clear in this particular video, I'm not being paid to make it. It's a tool that I have been learning how to use and I simply wanna teach others how to use it as well. It's a pretty straightforward tool and it's pretty easy, but there are a couple things that will be helpful if I can explain them to you, some features that I think will really benefit you that you need to know to write good notes with the note taker, and I think I just need to explain that to you. Now, I also know that AI is not for everyone, and that is totally fine. However, if you're interested in learning how to use this tool, this video is gonna be for you. It should be pretty quick. Let's actually just jump right in and teach you how to use it. So here we are inside of Simple Practice, and I don't know why my head over here is moving around. Let's let's put that back. Okay, here we go. All right, so if you're using Simple Practice, your calendar is gonna look something like this. Now we have someone scheduled for 10 a.m., right? Uh, if, if well, it's 10.20 right now, we'd be very late to that appointment, but we have someone scheduled, and just like any other session, what you're gonna do, you're gonna click on it, right? Uh, we're gonna assume this is a virtual session. This does also work for in-person but I wanna show you the virtual. So we're gonna click start video appointment, right? Again, nothing is different here about any other session we've had. We'll then click, we're in the waiting room, we'll click start video, and here we are. And what you'll notice at the very bottom, yes, you can see it on my screen, there's a purple button that says record audio. Now, the other thing is you wanna make sure all the consents are signed, okay? Now, I'm well aware that AI is a very gray area at the moment, so you definitely wanna check in with attorneys and cross, is it cross your eyes? No, it's dot your eyes, cross your teeth, that kind of thing, right? Make sure you do all that you can uh, to ensure that when you do choose to use AI, you're doing things properly in terms of consents and uh, legality and all that. Let's assume we've done that. Um, the client's consented, you're gonna use it. And so let's imagine they're in there and all we'll do is click that purple button, right? Record audio. Once we click that, the note taker is now engaged. And you can tell because it says pause. If we click pause, the note taker will stop recording in the session, right? Um, so what, assuming that we click start, right? That purple button and it begins. Now you can just have your session as you always would. If you need to pause it, you can. Now let's imagine the session concludes. What do we do to stop the note taker? We can either click pause or we can just click end and end the session and note taker will do its thing in the background. Now. One thing, we're gonna let that run so that we have a test note at the end, but if you do not have access to that button right now, the way we engage that is you go to settings, which is on this little gear icon right here. I'm not gonna click on it because it has personal info inside the settings, um, but you're gonna click settings. You're gonna go under the practice tab, and then under there, you're gonna see, I have it written down so I don't forget, um, plan, right? You're gonna go into your plan, and then you'll be able to see underneath that, there'll be a note taker section and you can manage access. You can turn it on for one provider, all your providers, um, just a few, whatever you wanna do, but that's where you're gonna manage the plan access in the settings, okay? Now, a couple things that we really need to know about note taker that are gonna either make or break it for you, okay? So the really cool part about this is that it can auto-populate templates that you've either customized or that you're using. It's not just a generic soap note. However, if we don't do this properly, it will default to a generic soap note and you'll be copying and pasting and no one wants to be doing that. So what Note Taker does as of now, which it is now July 29th, 2025, it takes your previously used template and uses that to populate a note. Okay, so what we wanna do here, um, if you've already been seeing someone then there's really nothing to do because your previous note template should be there from the last session. But perhaps you don't have a template that you're using quite yet. Let's go ahead and just show you what we would do. Before the session starts, what we can do is, well, let me go back to show you that. Um, we're gonna click add note, okay? You can still see this. We're gonna click add note. And you'll notice that this is the template I wanna use, the individual therapy progress note. That's the template we use in our practice. Right, but let's say you wanted to use something else. You can use, you know, intake or whatever the case may be. So you wanna select that, right, before the session starts. And so once we select that, we can then scroll down, we can click save. Obviously there's no note here, but it's indicated to simple practice that that's the template we want to use. Okay, so that's really, really cool. And that's, that, that was a deal breaker for me. If the, if the platform was not allowing me to use a custom template, 
then NoteTaker was not worth it because I can just use my own templates and type them in and fill them in pretty quickly. But the fact that this can do that is a game changer, okay? So uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna end this session. I know it wasn't a very long uh, session here, but let's go ahead and end it and let me show you what happens, All right? We're just gonna click end. You can click pause if you want. And the session is now concluded, all right? Now, what you'll notice is if we go back into the chart here and we click view note, you'll notice that it takes a second to load. On the right-hand side, which can I move? Oh, I can't move it over. You can see that a little bit. I move my head. Right here on the right-hand side, it says that the note taker is taking notes for you and then it will be generated soon. Um, this varies in time. I've seen it take uh, you know four or five minutes all the way to seven or eight. It's been getting quicker though. So let's let the note taker uh, take its notes and then we'll come back and see what it did. All right, everyone, we are back. And uh, unfortunately for that example, the, the note taker said that the transcript was too short, which you'll see here. But let's assume that you did have the session. This is not gonna affect the tutorial at all. What you'll have, you'll have the transcription here on the right hand side, where it's like, you know, A, B, A, B, you know, who said what and the transcript, as well as a soap note format that you can copy and paste over. But on the left hand side, what will happen, and it did kind of start to happen here, you'll see that your previously used template is what gets populated. And then this, the content from the AI note taker populates it into that template. And it does a pretty good job of putting the right information in the right section of the note. In my experience, I've had to make very, very little edits, maybe some minor tweaks to some wording and things like that. But for the most part, it was able to nail all the details inside of the template, you know, in terms of like the session content or uh, progress on treatment plans, this kind of thing. So the fact that your AI note taker that is built into the system and is native to the platform can actually populate custom templates is absolutely huge. And that's pretty much it. This is how you're gonna use AI Note Taker. I think it's the most up-to-date tutorial uh, right now in terms of its features. It does a pretty good job of using clinical language. Um, again, as you use it, it tends to get a bit better and I'm sure that over time it will get faster and more advanced. But for now, the fact that it can do these things here, I think it could be a game changer for those of you who want to use it. It can really speed up your workflow. And again, I've said this a thousand times in this video, the fact that it can use custom templates is truly what makes it valuable. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. I hope you learned something. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.